is a step-by-step -step instruction teach you how to create a site called a cyclones boomerang paper plans. So for more detail for this paper airplane, this is one of my most most favorite paper airplane ever. I love it a lot. So now let me show you guys how to do it step by step. First step, I fold the paper in half horizontally. Or you can consider it vertically as well. Let me make a very nice crease here. And next, I start from the top edge halfway to the center crease. And then I repeat the same fold for the opposite side. And then I start from this edge at 4 to the center crease. And now I repeat the same fold for the opposite side. I will turn the paper this way first. And then I just fold the paper. And next, I will start from the tip here I fold straight down to the bottom. Use the center crease as a preference. Let me turn the paper this way so I can fold easier. The red is very hard. And next, I unfold the paper. Now I start from. I will turn the paper this way first, and I will start from this tip I fold to the crease we just make. This looks just fine. Now I unfold this part of the paper again. And then now we turn the paper this way one more time. I think it's a little bit confusing. But just follow the instruction. You can see the crease here. I will use this crease. It's my preference to fold this part of the paper out. When I fold out, I fold slowly until this edge matches to this corner. And then I repeat the same fold for the opposite side. I will make sure that this edge will match to this corner. And now I will fold this paper down. You can see this uh, crease here. I will use that crease in my preference to fold this triangle shape here. You can see this. It's almost like a triangle shape. I fold down like this. And then I will just fold this part of the paper, you can see this small triangle shape here, I will fold it up and I will insert it here to connect the gap here. Can you see it clearly? Very good. Now we will put the paper down, make sure that's all edges are lined up, and make sure that all creases are good. And now we will turn the paper this way and I fold the paper in half. If you see all edges are lined up, that means you fold the paper correctly. And now, you can see what I have for now. I will start from this corner, I will fold straight to this corner to create the first wing. And then I will repeat the same fold for the other side. You see that I cannot match this corner to this corner actually when I fold. So I just match this corner to this edge down here. And then I repeat the same fold for the opposite side. I can I think I will fold more a little bit. Okay, and I repeat the same fold for the opposite side. I match this edge to the edge on the bottom here. So I, I will have uneven wings. Make sure that I will have uneven wings. Okay. I fix the wings first. At this time I'm going to create the stabilizers. This is very important to make the plan fly back to you. I'll curve this part of the paper up a bit, straight to this corner, and straight to this corner as well. Just keep folding it like this. And I repeat the same fold for the opposite side, turn the paper over, and fold this part up to create the stabilizer. And now, I can unfold to show you the blend. It looks very nice for now. Fix the stabilizer. Make sure that the stabilizers are straight up. Okay. 
next step you need to curve the very end up like this you need to curve it up right. okay I just curve it up like this also for this side it needs to go up okay it needs to go up like this and then you can hold the paper airplane right here and if you want it to fly back to you to the left you need to hold right here and then drag to the left and if you want it to fly to the right you need to hold it right here and tilt the plane a little bit like this and drag to the right this is very important that you learn how to draw it first and here you go this is the psychotic side plant and I hope you guys enjoy watching the tutorial and also you like the paper airplane and if you do give the video a thumb up share it with your friends and subscribe my channel leave me a feedback on the comment section finally thank you for One, watching and two three Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make a ninja star uh, which I really like and I think you guys will like it too because uh, you can draw this ninja star and this is uh, not difficult to make um, however I decided to fight with a regular US letter size paper you can also draw A4 paper it doesn't make any difference but if you fold with a square piece of paper you can't draw it only if you fold a uh, use letter size paper or uh, A4 paper or copy paper you can draw the origami so now let me show you guys how to make it uh, first of all let's fold the paper in half and uh, next fold in half again and then uh, start from this edge for to the center crease and repeat the same fold for the other side just uh, fold straight to the center crease make sure that both sides are even this is very important okay when you finish one side you can flip the paper over and repeat the same fold use this crease as a preference and fold to the center crease again same thing for the other side and uh, now let's unfold everything cool now you see the intersection of this edge and this, this crease same thing here uh, I'll use this crease as a preference and I'll start from this edge for it to the imagine that you have a light connecting from this intersection to the intersection and just throw it up Same thing for this side, just fold up. Alright, All right. so um, that's this one you should have for now. And on the following step, I will start from this edge for to the center crease. And uh, repeat the same fold for the opposite side. Just fold to the center crease. Looks good. This looks good. Now let's me move it up a little bit more. Right. And now, um, just you know, I will um, start from this side. I will match this edge to this line. And also for this side, uh, you see the upper layer, just pull it out and push the paper down. You see, I'll show it you again. Put the paper back, start from this side, match this edge to this uh, crease. And same thing for this one, put out and then just push that. 
you can have a house now, a house ship. Uh, ju adjust it if they do not match perfectly. Adjusting is very important. So I adjust it a little bit, and it should look fine. Look fine for now. Fix it a little bit more. It should have very nice shape for now. And uh, repeat the same for for this side. I will turn the paper this way, and uh, for the same thing. Uh, it's look good, right? Look good. All right. So I will fold this one back. Same thing for this side, and same thing for this one too. This one too. Here we go. This is what you should have for now. And I pull this one out. You see this part? Just pull it out and push it out. Same thing here. Open the uh, layers. Push it out. And also for this side. Uh, do the same thing and, uh, for this side too. Okay, so this is what you should have, and I'm going to teach you how to make the uh, the blade of the stars. So let's start with the let's do the uh, first point, the first star point, the first part. Um, okay, so now. Just open um, this part up and start from this edge for to the um, center crease. Uh, the center crease of this part. So to make it clear, just so work like this. And repeat the same for for this side and for this side. And then just push it out. Okay. Just finish one side out four. Let me fix it before we move on to the next one. And I want it looks super nice. You see it? Okay, let me fix it first. Okay, now let's do the next one. Let's do this one then. Put out and fold it to the uh, center. Like how you fold the crane. This is exactly the same. Okay. Finish one. And now I will do the next one as well. Let me fix it first and then I'll show you the next one. And now we speed it up. You know the uh, the process already. Now just speed it up. I will not explain again. Side two. Make sure you fix it. Okay, after you finish all the signs, I flip the paper over, and you can see the purchase for it there. One. Two, three, and four. This one, right there. And this is what you should have for now. And um, this one, you can actually throw it. And we almost finished the Mega Star. However, to make the origami flip back to you, you need to do a few more steps. And I will show you how to do it right now. Let's flip the paper over and start from this tip for the paper inward and by doing this way you can help the origami flip back to you. Um, let's finish for all the sides of the paper and I will show you um, the next step. So press it down when you fold the paper, press it down hard and uh, Make sure that you uh, fold it correctly. You can see the creases. You can use these creases as a references to fold um, the paper. Even though I didn't tell you clearly what it says, but 
use the creases as a preference to fold and i hope you guys will successful make this origami and you will be able to make it fly back to you mm. and finally thank you for watching and don't forget to give the video a thumb up share the tutorial with your friends and uh, comment below bye bye of the superstar now it's just time to test it out and i already posted a tutorial on the channel you can follow a link on my description or you can follow a link on the left side to go to my channel to learn how to make the superstar hello again everyone on this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to make a boomerang paper plan this is called the Seahawk. To make this origami, you need a pen or pencil and a piece of your slitter size. You can also try A4 paper. Now, let's fold the paper in half lengthwise. You need to make sure that all edges are lined up and then make a crease. Next, fold the paper in half the other way. Same thing, you need to make sure that all edges are matched perfectly. And make a center crease. And now, start from the corner at first to the center crease we just made. Repeat the same fold for the other side of the paper. And then flip the paper over. Use this intersection we just made as a reference point to fold the top there. And also, you can use the center crease as a reference line to fold. And after you make sure that all creases are lined up, you can make a, a crease. And then unfold that part. Start from the corner. You can start from left or right corner, fold it straight to the center crease. And follow carefully what I'm doing now. Don't forget to adjust the paper if you need to. And fix in all creases before you do the next step. Now, let's turn the paper this way. And start from the tip, first straight to the edge from the other side of the paper. Let me show you again. Start from the tip, for straight to the other side, the edge of the other side of the paper. But use the center crease that is a reference. Make a crease, and then turn the paper over. And next, unfold the paper. Flip the paper over, and use the crease we just make as a preference to fold the tip down. and fold this triangle shape up i just show you the step but before we fold it we can use a crease uh, a crease we had there as a preference to fold so fold the triangle shape down there and fold up you can use the crease we just make as a preference line to fold and next we have another crease and start from the intersection uh, of the center crease and the edge just follow the step I'm showing you now and repeat the same for the other side 
So basically we are creating the neck of the Seahawk and then I will show you guys how to insert the neck into the head of the Seahawk. Let me fix the paper first. And now you can see the pocket. Insert the neck into that pocket. You just finish the very difficult part of the origami and now just fold the paper in half to create the wings you can see the intersection of that crease and the top edge use that point as a preference fold it down and down the back you can estimate about 2 inches to fold the wings And on the following step, we need a rounded pencil to roll the wings. And now just roll the wings. Roll both sides of the wings carefully. And make sure that both sides are even. And after rolling the wings, you need to unroll the wings so that the blend can fly well and come back to you. And now, I am going to teach you how to throw the paper airplane. Tilt the paper airplane to the left or right and throw it about 45 degrees. You may not be successful at the first time, but throw it again. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and get in touch. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make the flapping eagle. This plane is one of my most favorite paper airplanes because the wings of it can flap when it's fly. To make the flapping eagle, you need a printing paper. You can use either your letter size or A4 paper. And keep in mind that the thinner the paper, the better the eagle can flap. Also, you need a, a pencil to curve the wings of the plane later on. And now let's start. First of all, let me fold the paper in half this way. Make a very nice crease here. And next, unfold the paper. Now Start from this top edge, fold to the center crease. And repeat the same fold for the opposite side. And next step, I will start from the tip here, fold straight down to to the bottom and I use the center line here as my reference. I will turn the paper this way so I can fold it easier. I, curve, I curve the paper and fold slowly until I touch until the tip touch the bottom and I will make a crease here. And next step I will fold this tip up like this. I will fold up a little bit more. You can see um, the distance from the tip here to this edge is about uh, 3 4 of an inch. And next step, I will unfold this triangle shape and I will start from the edge here. I will fold it straight from this intersection of the center crease and the top to the intersection of this crease to this edge so after I finish the right side I will fold the left side so 
Now let's fold the left side of the paper. After you finish both sides of the paper, uh, you can fold the triangle shape up again. This is very easy. We almost finished the plan. Next, I will fold the paper in half. Make sure that both sides are even. And um, now I will estimate about half an inch from the tip here along this edge. And I will fold it straight up. You can see the bottom here is about 2 inches. And I repeat the same fold for the other side as well. So after I finish both sides of the wings, I will use a pencil to curve the wings. One side first, and then the other side. I'll curve it. And here you go. This is the uh, eagle. And you can see the wings are curved up for both sides. However, if you throw the plane right now, it will not flap and it just glides for a distance. So to make the uh, eagle fly, the eagle need to practice and it need to exercise so it can flap its wings. And I will explain how you can throw the plane. Throw it up at 30 degrees. Do not throw it so hard, just throw it lightly. And if the wings do not flap, you need to do more exercise for the eagle. And here you go, this is the eagle. Uh, check it out and finally thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye First of all, we turn from right to left And then we turn left to right And to the pen like this now we turn upside down. There you go. Right to left. And left to right. Upside down. This is very fun to play with the paper and like this. Hello everyone, welcome to Paper Arts Pen. I'm Tree and today I'm going to remake the cycle. If you already watched my other video and you know how to fold the cycle already, you can forward to the end to learn how to hold and throw the plants. Otherwise, let's make the cycle now. To make the uh, cycle boomerang paper plant, you need a printing paper and uh, you should use your slider size. Otherwise, if you have an A4 paper, you can follow a link on my description, print it out and trim it to your slider size. Um, so let's start now. First step, I will fold the paper in half horizontally. Unfold the paper. Second step, I will fold the paper in half vertically. Then unfold the paper again. Now I start from the top edge and fold it to the center piece. Now start from this edge, fold it to the center piece. Repeat the same fold for the opposite side. And Next step, start from the tip here, fold it to this edge. I will turn the paper this way so I can fold it easier. Okay. And then fold the paper in half. Next step, I'm going to create the wings by folding this corner to this edge and this edge to this corner so this is a tricky fold you need to fold slowly
and repeat the same fold for the opposite side. Now, you can unfold the wings. Now, at this point, I will show you how to tweak and throw the blend. Uh, you can see the end of the wings here. I will curve this up like this. The more you curve this up, the more it tend to fly back. But if you curve it too much, it will not fly back very well. Okay? So, if you want it to fly toward to the right, to the one, curve the one on the right more. If you want it to fly more to the left, curve the ones on the left more. And turn the paper over, I'll show you where you can hold and throw the band. You can hold the band right here where you can feel the hard part. Hold it this way and throw it at 30 degrees for the direction you want it to fly back. And you need to tilt it like this. You can see the angle here. It's like 30 degrees angle. Okay? And here you go. This is the uh, cycle. Check it out. And if it's fly well for you, like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello everybody, welcome again to another paper airplane tutorial. On this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a very very simple paper airplane which is called the 3D rollover. To make the paper airplane, you need a piece of your slatter size paper. You can also try a fold paper. Now, let's fold the paper in half. When you measure all edges or light up, just make a crease and then unfold the paper next step start from the top edge for to the center crease repeat the same fold for the other side now start from the tip for straight down use the center crease as your preference Match the tip to the center crease and flatten the paper down. And then start from the top edge again for to the center crease. Of course, I will repeat the same fold for the other side. And then unfold everything. Both sides. Start from the side edge for it to the crease we just made. Repeat the same fold for the other side. Start from the side edge for it to the center crease. And at this point, I can fold the whole part to the center crease again. And then you can see this small triangle shape. Fold this triangle shape up to hold everything together. And make a very strong crease. And then turn the paper over, fold it in half. And next step, start from this edge for it to the other edge to create the wings. Repeat the same fold for the other side. Make sure that all creases are lined up and flatten.
and the wings should be flattened. And you can curve the end of the wings up a little bit to draw the plane. And now I'm going to create the stabilizers on both sides of the paper air blend to make it fly better. You can just estimate it. This is just an optional step. Just force up and make sure that you force par parallel with the, uh, the top. And then just uh, for the wings up, open the stabilizers. And remember to curve the end of the wings up a little bit to make sure the plants will fly well. You just flatten it down again. This is just flatten it down. Now the plants should fly better and the shape looks much nicer too. Um, remember that if you want the air plant to loops, you need to fold the end of the wings make a 90 degree straight up so that the plane will fly if you like this paper airplane don't forget to give the video a thumb up subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching see you next time bye bye Hello everyone, on this tutorial I will teach you how to fold the superstar. The superstar is a very cool origami because it can spin back to you. To make the superstar you need a printing paper. You can use either your letter size on A4 paper. Also you may need to use tape. This is an optional and if you don't want to use tape that's fine. But you need to practice to draw it. Now let's fold the superstar. First off I will fold the paper in half. Then I unfold the paper. Next, I start from this edge and fold to this edge, and I will repeat the same fold for all the sides. Same thing for this side. And the same fold for this edge. Okay. Same thing for this side. If we have done the UFO, you know this is the same technique. Okay, this is what we should have for now and on the next step, I will imagine that I have the line from this point to this point and I will fold this edge to that line. Now I repeat the same fold for the opposite side. I will turn the paper this way. And I'll fold this corner to the intersection. Same thing for the other side. Next step, I fold the paper in half. Then unfold the paper. Now start from this edge for two decent degrees.
and repeat the same for for this side. Next, open this layer and I will match, and then I will match this edge to this crease, and I will keep the paper like this, and I repeat the same for for the opposite side. I will match this edge to this crease. And hold the paper like this for the inner first. And then push this out slowly. Okay. Next, you will try to match this edge to this edge. And now I will repeat the same for, for the other side. I will turn the paper this way so I can force easier. You need to keep in mind that you need to fold uh, the inner first. You can see how I fold this one first, and then I push the top down. Okay, now open this side of the paper. You can see this layer, I fold up. Also, this side of the paper, I fold it up. Now we have the pin wheel, and this is close, very close to what we want to do. And here you go. If you take a look closely at the pin wheel, you can see this layer. I'll pull this layer up. To show you what's the inner and I will fold the next step I fold this layer down toward this edge and uh, take a look at how I'm doing it now I will fold slowly and I will fold straight to this corner Have you seen what I have done? Um, this is pretty difficult and I will, will repeat the same for, for the other side. I will open this layer and then I fold in. A, okay. You need to fold slowly because uh, this is difficult to fold. Um, and the other side, same thing. I will fold this one in. Same step for this side. This is really difficult. This should be the hardest. Hi, M3. And on this tutorial, I will teach you guys how to make a simple boomerang paper blend, the outer spaceship. So, first step, fold the paper in half this way. Second step, 
I will start from this edge and fold it to this crease. Okay, and next I will fold the paper in half this way. And then I will turn the paper like this. Four step. I will start from this edge. I fold it to the center crease. Okay. Next, I repeat the same step for the other side. Okay. Then we fold this triangle shape down. But I will tell you that you have a crease on the back here, so use this as a reference to fold this triangle shape there. Okay. Then next, I will fold the paper in half this way. Alright. Or open the paper you see a crease here we use it as a preference to fold the stabilizer so start from this edge fold it to this crease and then I repeat the same step for the other side Next, I fold the paper in half again, and now I will estimate about half an inch from this edge along this edge. Okay. When I fold out, I will match this edge to this edge. Then repeat the same step for the other side. Now I can open the paper. So here you are the uh, outer spaceship. This is a boomerang. Make sure that you curl the wings up a little bit before you throw it. Okay. And also it is important that um, you hold the blend like this till the blend to the direction you want to throw it. So you want to fly back to the left side to the pen like this and throw it to the left side all right so thank you for watching and this is the outer spaceship bye bye Hello everyone, my name is Dree and today I will show you guys how to make the Swallow. The Swallow is one of the classic paper I blend. I studied how to make it 20 years ago. However, I got so many requests to make the Swallow. Some of you told me the Swallow is so difficult to make. Uh, some of you told me the Swallow is the best paper I blend. Or this is the hardest paper I blend ever. Alright, today I will show you in detail how to make it. And you can see it is really easy to fold. And this flies very well. Okay, so let's start now. To make the swallow, you need a printing paper. You can have letter size, A4 paper, either one is fine. And then you need a pencil. This is an optional, actually. So, first step I will leave the paper this way and I fold the paper in half. Easy. Next. I start from the top here, I 
forward to the Santa Cruz. Okay. So just keep in mind that this is the version I make when I was a little. So it's made lightly different than what you have seen before. And I'll start from next step I start from this edge forward to the Santa Cruz. There's a gap, that's okay. Next step, I start from the top here. I fold it to this corner. Okay. And next step, I repeat the same step. I start from this corner, I fold it to this corner. You can see it. Here we go. That's pretty really good. All right, and then I will turn the paper over. Now you can see that we have this corner, this intersection, and this corner. We use them as the reference. Okay, imagine that you have a line from here to here. Then just fold this triangle shape down. we go see that what we have right I fold this one back then turn the paper over now you see this crease I will fold it to this in the crease that's easy hold this one up then repeat the same step for this side for it to this in the crease and then you can see this part just fold down okay fix it a little bit though okay. it's maybe up just a little bit That's good. And then I'll turn the paper this way. Okay. Now you can see this edge and this edge. We'll fold both edges to the center crease. I'll show you now. Also fold it like this. Okay. And then repeat the same thing for this side. I repeat the same step for the other side. Here we go. Alright, so this is really good. Now you can see the top here. I fall straight down to this this edge. Let's see what they have here. Okay. Now fold it back. Turn the paper this way. And see this like this, right? I will just fold this edge to the center crease and repeat the same step for this side. Finish one side already. See that? Repeat the same step for the other side. Pretty simple. Okay. I like the gap. Okay, this will easier for you to fold later. Here we go. Then you see this part. See the crease here? Just fold it down like this. See how I fold it? Hold the paper like this. And just fold it like this. Now, you get the top of the swallow down. Here we go. Fold down. Next step, I will fold the paper in half. See the gap there? This is very useful. That's perfect, right? Next step, we will fold this layer down to create the wings. But this is best. You have the bottom part here higher than the top. So we use this part as the standard point. Okay, they will force diagonally straight to here. So it should be about one inch from the corner here along this edge. A one inch, more than one inch, a little bit. That's to make sure that your blend will never fly down. Let's see how I fold here. And then I repeat the same step for the other side. Turn the paper over. Fold down. Very simple. Now, at this point, I will show you guys how to make two versions of the swallow so I will show you the modern version that many of you have done so you can see the end of the wings here just estimate about one well, half an inch and just fold it up that's fine and then turn the paper over and fold it up okay 
see that, what we have for now. Open the wings, everything up. So, this is the swallow you guys have seen. And actually, oh, this is kind of funny to me. As you know, the swallow is a bird. And I have never seen a bird has a wings like this. It's look really weird. And some people attach the tail here and it's, they call it the, the swallow. It's kind of funny. Okay? I actually call it the helicopters when it was younger. But uh, uh, anyways, I'll show you guys how to make the second version of the swallow, which I actually make it. Uh, which I really like because it doesn't fly straight, it will turn around. Okay? You need a pen or pencil. So I should use a pencil to curve or roll the wings like this. Yes. And I repeat the same step for the other side. So by doing this way, your plants will not fly straight at all. It tends to, uh, to like fly around or um, you, you don't know how it flies like unexpected. So this is how the bird flies right. And make sure that you throw it up at 40 to 60 degrees in any condition except when it's raining. So raining is not good. Otherwise, it just flies very well. And throw it straight up. Okay, hold the band like this. And then you throw it straight up to 40 to 30 degrees like this. It flies very well. So here you go. This is a swallow.